Okay guys, it's Fuse Dines here again, uh, just bringing you a quick tutorial on um, how to do the like energy wave explosion on After Effects CS6. Okay, uh, here's just a quick example on the Vortex intro I did, it's a couple of months ago now I did it, but it's one of my best intros I think. Uh, well yeah, just here you go. If you haven't seen it, uh, definitely go check it out, give it a like and maybe a favorite but um whatever you do that's really appreciated but um what we're gonna be focusing on is this like energy wave explosion kind of thing here you see like we've got this bit here um it kind of explodes out from the text almost it's just basically all it is is a layer on top of the um cinema 4d footage and it kind of explodes with a uh, another color correction on top which is a lot lot brighter and like glows a lot more here as you can see if i let it go well like here it's a lot glows a lot more and also there's some uh dirt on top but we're not going to be going through that today okay um all we're going to be going through is just the actual explosion bit here and the color correction on top and also there's some twitch on there too but um all right okay let's get straight onto it just open up after effects uh import your clip I'm going to import a two-seat intro, uh, which is a photography company, the money sponsor. Um, okay, just drag that into After Effects here. There we go. My computer might be running a bit slowly because obviously I'm recording, and my computer's a bit shitty to be perfectly honest with you. But um, anyway, now you've got your footage here, which has been cut down to size slightly, as you can see here. It's only 25 FPS, but but um, that's just because I've made the file fall smaller to send and upload because it was quicker. So then just drag it into a new competition here. Click OK. And the first thing we want to do is just run preview that just to give you a quick um, kind of into like what we're going to be using today. And my computer's being stupid. But uh, anyway, that's just a 2C intro. It's on my channel. Right, okay, so we'll probably do it about just as the 2C bit actually hits the background. So I'm just going to go through frame by frame by clicking control and then the arrow keys. So if, you, if you've probably already noticed, if you just use the arrow keys, then it will not work. Okay, so I'm just going to have a quick look just as it hits it. So I'll go about there. Right, okay, so then what we want to do is duplicate our clip by clicking come up, control Command D, sorry, or Control D, depending on if you're on Windows or PC. Uh, on the top layer, type in, go to your effects and prefix and type in um, CC Lens. There it is. Uh, it's under Distort, or you can just go uh, Effect. Click on this bit, click on your layer here. We can go Effect, uh, Distort, wherever that is. CC Lens here. I'm going to click that. And then you've got some settings here. So if we turn this bottom layer off, which is your original picture or video clip, or well, you can do it with a picture, but I'm just going to do it with this. Then you've got the size and convergence there. So we're going to, if you turn that up, you can see it uh, makes it like, you can see it kind of like ripples out quite well. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, we're going to set this all the way to zero. We'll turn that other layer on just to make it. Yeah, just uh, just so we can see the background. So we're gonna find the bit where we want to um, do the explosion bit, and we're gonna go back about one, two, three, four. We're back about three frames, or two frames. We'll make it two just to then click uh, click the size stopwatch thing here. Then go forward around a second, so probably about there. Or well, it's all it's complete personal preference. It doesn't. So whatever already, but then you turn the size up to 500, and you won't see much change because all that's done is that's completely exploded it, and so you can't see it anymore. So if we go back a few frames, say here, you might be able to see. It. Yeah, there you go. As you can see, it's just starting to distort there, and we're left with that. So then, if we I hit B about. I'll, uh, I'm going to start the render where uh, the uh, wave comes in, kind of like um, the explosion comes in. And to see where you've set your keyframes, just click click on your layer and click U. 
that'll bring up where you set your keyframe. So I'm going to go just there. Then uh, hit B on your keyboard. That'll uh, set this brackets to there. So then we can like it'll only render out a bit inside the work area. So I'm going to go to the end of my bit and click N, which will end it. I'm just going to run preview it. Oh, my computer does that. But um, anyway, so we've got all uh, our footage there. So then, if we want to actually put a like another color correction on top of it, if we put just one, if we just put one there, like. In, on top of everything, all that I do is that I affect everything. So what you want to do is you want to go to layer, I'm sorry, layer new, um, layer new adjustment layer, or you can do it down here by clicking new adjustment layer. There, but I'm just gonna do it like this. Then what we want to do is click shift and then click your top layer or your, well yeah, it'd have to be a top layer, but your uh, layer with the CC lens on. Right click, pre compose. Call this um, CC lens, then click move all attributes into the new composition, then hit OK, and that will create a new composition here. So just double click on that to open it. Then you've got this bit here. So then, then you've got your adjustment layer or your color correction layer, which we will change that now. There you go. Just uh, if, if normally what people do is, you, if you hit enter, you're allowed. To, you can change it to whatever you want, but that won't ch change your layer name. That will just change your that that will just change your layer name, not source name. So what you have to do is change the source name. You just come up here, hit enter, change this to color I just oh, actually I'll just call it color. Yeah, I'll call it color, then um, open this up in, oh god damn it, open up uh, looks, or magic bullet looks, um, if you don't have it, uh, YouTube or Google how to get it, I'm not saying get it free or anything, but definitely go buy it, it's really really good, so much better than like curves or whatever After Effects built, has built into it, but anyway, um, just drag that onto the layer there, hit edit. Come on. Sorry about that guys, but the uh, magic bullet looks kind of screwed up, so I had to close it down and reopen it. But anyway, um, back onto it, so I've just changed that to color, and just gonna go ahead and click edit. So the, so the error message doesn't load up now. So it did open actually, but it took about a minute and a half to open, two minutes. Here you go, it's open now. So right, uh, once we're here, you can actually install presets. Uh, if you want a tutorial, another tutorial on that, I'll gladly do one, but the presets, just you go there and then you open. I think I used that one actually, but or that one. But um, yeah, this is just a pack I downloaded. It's got hundreds and hundreds of them in. Uh, they take a while to load up, but that's like, you got loads of them. I was kind of like a grainy one there, but anyway, uh, what we want to be doing, is if you go to down to this one here, colorized uh, three way or whatever you call it, just drag that in there. Um, uh, I'll make this slightly bluey. I think bluey looks quite nice because that kind of it kind of goes with your intro, whatever you really want. Really, the highlight doesn't really matter. Won't change it much. Just drag it down. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna move it to a better frame. Once you're done, just click finish. By the way. If you want to move it to a better frame, because that's like you don't get much background image on it, because I've only really uh, opened it in. So, you know, I've only got one the normal composition open. I need to open it in my other one. Okay, just wait for it to load. <sighs> ah, here we go. Okay, right. Open this up here, move it back a bit slightly, just very slightly so we actually get the come on, there we go. Okay, maybe that. Okay, all right, so then we, if we open up this, oh yeah, one sec, yeah, if we open that up, probably, what's an eye? Maybe there, 
Maybe, maybe there. That's not that looks a good one. Then click edit again. Sorry, she's been kind of long-winded, but you know my computer's being a fag. Uh, anyway, yeah, you go to you bring in your streaker, down, drag that up or down, whatever you want. As you can see, changes it quite dramatically. We'll make that slightly blue, put it in light blue almost. Make this one slightly redder to make the viv the reds more vivid, almost a pinky color. And bring this down. You want it quite dramatic change to actually kind of uh, so it's you can differentiate from one from the other. So you, from the the first color correction to the other. So we're making this kind of like a dull. Well, no, you're not. You're making this kind of like a vivid, um, bluey kind of texture. So then we just click away, go on to this. Um, then we're gonna add. That's what we need. And we'll add a edge softness on it. I drag if you click anywhere around the circle, you can just drag it out slightly, which we just want to kind of just clip the edges around here. Maybe if you use your almost also if you use your mouse wheel or on the trackpad if on the Mac, if you actually like just kind of um like you're going up and down in frame, you two pin pick use your two fingers and just like kind of move it up and down, that'll zoom in and zoom out. I want to zoom out a bit, click the top bar, not the dotted line, the top bar now. Just drag that in to make it like more like like squashed almost, if you know what I mean. Then drag the whole thing out a bit and move it back in a bit to make it a bit, give it a bit of depth. Okay, about there looks about right. Maybe I'm just clipping the edge. There you go. That looks about right. Then just click away and go to, you might want to add actually. Not on lens, you might want to add a bit of vignette, like which puts a black, makes the outside here darker. But considering we've already got quite a dark background, it doesn't really matter. To put on a chromatic aberration, I think I can't say it, but you know what I mean. Then all this will do is this will split the RGB slightly, very slightly, and just change it up quite a bit. On the outsides, it will split it more. Down to about is personal preference member, but I'll change this down to about four, maybe three or four. There we go. You can add to Twitch, but um oh, I'm not gonna do this in this tour. So then you want go down to camera, just have a quick look, go to curves, make this brighter by moving one of these up. Go to the top one, go up and down, see what you get. Yeah, it might take a while, but we'll move it up, which makes it a bit better. Change the contrast slightly. So yeah, change the contrast up very, very slightly. Shadows, turn that up quite a bit. There you go. Um, and just go click away. Then we want to click finish because that's the first bit of the color correction we're doing. There. You don't have to put the curves on if you want. I just think it makes it look a bit more vivid and quite a lot brighter. So just hit finish, um, wait for your After Effects to load up. Because <sighs> as you can see, when you open Magic Bullet Looks, it will actually open it in a completely different window. So it's like it's an external plugin for After Effects. Then once we've got that, we can click back onto this. Then we can click Lens. Find the like a uh, CT Lens kind of thing. And click uh, effect, blur sharp, and actually just go down to here and click glow because I don't know where it is. Um, come down to where is it? Glow stylized. That's what it says. Um, also just kind of like hello heads up. Uh, you you don't have to put your color correction in a separate thing. Like you can just put your color correction on top of this. I think anyway. Put it actually on top of your cease. Uh, your 2C intro or whatever you got there. Then just go to the drag your glow onto your to your new pre comp you made. Just drag this on. There we go. Uh, you can see it makes it a lot lot brighter. Turn down the glow threshold slightly, just very slightly. There we go, I'll make it a little bit darker. Oh no, that'll make it a lot brighter. <laughs> Wrong way. 
There you go. You want it, you want it quite bright because you want to add it to. All right, uh, you're gonna make it quite. Let's try turn it. It's uh, just play about with the settings. I'm gonna leave it by that just to try and cut down the um, length of the tutorial. How long are we on at the moment? We're on seven minutes. So it's about sixteen minutes. We're on. Uh, so yeah, it's been quite a long tutorial, but uh, if you actually view through it, then you'll be able to see the difference. Yeah, I think it makes quite a lot of difference. You can also use this in montages and things like that and edits you got. I think it makes it look really good. Uh, you can also add some like uh, bassy sound to or explosion sound effects. Just turn the bass on and make it sound really good. Right, and um, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped a lot. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.